Hello, I'm Chris Swaffer, Product Manager for Notion. This video series is a quick start guide for new Notion Mobile users. It assumes you have already installed Notion Mobile and it sounds on your device. If you haven't, please check out the separate video. So, welcome to Notion Mobile. Thanks for choosing our software. Let's get you up and composing as quick as we can. Here's the opening screen when you launch Notion Mobile. This is where you'll find a list of your recent scores, which you can edit and search. You can open files or import MIDI or Music XML files from here. And at the bottom, click the padlock to bring up the welcome page to register or sign in with your Sphere membership. For now, we're going to click New Score. Set where you want to save the file, and if you want, a name. A list of templates is below to which you can add to, but for now, we're going to choose the instruments we want. This takes you to the Score Setup screen, where you can select the instruments you want in your score. Once you've added them, you can reorder them, or go into their settings to change transposition, for example, or whether you want to see tablature. So this sets up a default score, which is great, as it's the least amount of clicks between having a musical idea and getting to an open document to write it down. Of course, you're not stuck only writing fixed length pieces in C major that are in 4-4 at this tempo. Here's how you change each of those things. To add measures, hit the bar line tool in the tools grid and click and add into the score. The keyboard shortcut for bar lines is the letter I, because it looks like a bar line. Or right click or long press to get the context menu and select Insert Measures. If we look here in the tools grid, we also find the key signature tool, the time signature tool, and the metronome tool. And you can also double click an existing time signature or metronome mark to change them. So let's enter some notes. There are a lot of ways to enter notes to suit you and your workflow in Notion Mobile. Some methods are best for on the move, some best for attached MIDI instruments, some can even recognize your handwriting. But let's just start on the simplest. Tap the note duration, select one and put it into the score. You'll get oral feedback of the note and there we are. You can also hold, swipe and release in one single action. If you have a larger screen, you can also select the extended palette option from the application menu to always show the durations. When entering the note, you can drag up and down to change the pitch, with crosshairs appearing under your finger so you can see what note you are entering. You can also drag left and right to add sharps and flats. If I want to add the note into a different voice in the same staff, I can tap Enter in Voice 2, for example, in the palette. Voices 3 and 4 are also available as part of the welcome pack. Just register for free to unlock this. This is the simplest way of entering notes. Once you're happy with that, you can start using keyboard shortcuts. There are two choices for duration shortcut sets. You can use numbers to select the length of a note, or you can use letters. For example, Q for quarter note and E for eighth note. Keep tapping the same key to toggle between note and rest. If you can't remember the shortcuts, go to the user guide and print them out from there. The next note entry method is called step time, which allows you to accurately enter a note, rest or chord step by step. You can enter this mode by clicking the steps icon in the transport area or on the on-screen instrument. You select the durations via the palette or the keyboard shortcuts already mentioned and the pitches through the on-screen instruments or any connected MIDI instrument. Tap the rest icon or hit spacebar to enter a rest. The cursor will automatically advance. So if you want to enter a chord, tap chord mode. Build your chord and tap the right arrow or hit enter. 
For the on-screen instruments, you can choose between piano keyboard, guitar fretboard, or drum pad. For the drum pads, note heads are automatically selected. Be sure to select the right voice, depending on if you want the stems up or down. Of course, you can always use the Swap Voices tool afterwards. If you have an attached MIDI or Bluetooth MIDI instrument, the process is exactly the same. This is one of the quickest and most accurate ways of entering notes, with one hand on the QWERTY keyboard selecting duration, and the other hand on the MIDI keyboard selecting pitch. For simple chords and melodies, there are two automatic recognition features included in Notion real-time MIDI record and handwriting recognition. Once you have your MIDI instrument attached, set the metronome mark to a playable speed, set your metronome settings and hit the record button. Play to the click and once you have finished, your notes will appear. You can set the split point, the chord looseness and other settings in the application menu Record Setup. For handwriting recognition, which is part of the paid feature bundle, if you have a supported stylus like an Apple Pencil, Surface Pen or Android stylus, Notion will automatically switch into handwriting mode when you use it, and recognise when you use your finger instead. You can switch this off so that you can use any stylus. You can then use the handwriting icon in the extended palette to select handwriting on or off instead. You can adjust the timer to near instantaneous and longer. Or you can override the timer completely by double tapping on the Apple Pencil 2 itself or the button on a Surface Pen. Supported handwriting elements are outlined in the user guide and will work with five line pitch notation staves, including the drums. That's it for this quick start guide to set up a note entry. Thanks for watching.